Hello everyone, it's your favourite medieval peasant Jarf here, and I'm going to show you something which I find really, really cool. It's just a general tip for something, quite a quick video, um, because I haven't posted in a while. But this is something I'm actually working on for a demo, which I'm going to be doing for the new uh, military industrial complex. Music industrial complex products, you know, I'll be working on some military industrial complex stuff soon, but, um, you know, that's a story for another time. Right, let's have a look at what we're looking at here. i just get myself up there. Right, so... What am I doing is I'm generating impact sounds. How am I doing that? I'm just using a percussion library, right? Let's turn all the effects off. Let's listen to what this sounds like. Right, so that's really not really anything cool. Let's listen to those individually. Got a big drum. Kind of a little tappy thing. Um. Right, so let's put some reverb on it. Okay, let's listen to that. Nice, but it's not really thunderous, you know? It's not really got that kind of argent metal, distorted, industrial appeal to it. So how do we add that? Because, you know, this is quite a distorted song which is going on. Um, let's add a bit of something. So we're going to use this Extreme Compression plugin. Um, Mick Gordon approved, he's used it on some trailer scores, um, you know, Mick Gordon presets, blah blah blah, good old Mick Gordon, we love him a lot on this channel, so let's listen to that. Right, so that already sounds quite blown out, you know, that sounds like a speaker, like you've slashed the speaker off like Hendrix used to do um, back in the day, so we've got some distortion coming from that from the extreme compression, um, the methodology is you don't want it fluttering too much so you're gonna knock the mix down you're gonna have a nice resonance burst you're going to compress it quite hard and you're gonna slice it up quite hard um and you know you can mess around with the dynamics in this plugin down in the bottom to reject tightness or you could do it with another plugin you could just you know grab a standard old cl2a there's probably um like lots of emulations of this cl2a You've probably seen something which looks like this. It's basically like a tube optical kind of thing. Um, you can use that. You can slam that. Maybe not to gain that high that I'd clip it. I'd turn greater off. You can get a very similar kind of thing. I mean, that's quite quiet. Let's turn that up. Not as distorted. You'll notice that you can add some saturation onto that and build your own version. You just got to think about what the plugin does and what your desired effect is and you'll be able to basically get any sound you like for any cost you like you could even build your own ones in reactor or something so you know that's good and fun right now where's the trick okay because i promised you guys i'd show you a cool tip here you probably saw the cq at the start of the video what have i exactly done here so this song is actually recorded in double drop a it's going to be a fun little new collab i'm doing with someone who has stuff with tunes that low um so We've outlined the first octave, the zeroth octave, like octave zero is probably going to be inaudible. So what we've done is we've created a resonance node at the key of the song. Um, and we've just slammed that game, basically. And that's actually going to create an overtone. You're not necessarily just trying to draw out overtones you've got a percussion element so what's going to happen is it's going to have a wall of resonances essentially so you're going to have a wall of resonances and what you want to do is you want to highlight that one resonance which is in the key of the song and then what you can do after you've done that and slammed it all the way up is you can pick another one which is a direct overtone and create another resonance above that and then you get something which feels like it's in a big room it feels like it's in a big metal container or something it feels like much more industrial much more kind of cinematic in a lot of ways and it's going to bring out that low end kind of rumble which you really want so i'm going to turn up the desktop audio for this a bit and you're going to listen to what this has done to the sound and we'll have that coming back around And that's really the key. Essentially what's happened there is now that's gone from something which just sounds like any old drum to something which now sounds like a massive resonant 
insane industrial cinematic sound effect which you could put in a sample pack and sell or something and it's transformative enough to do so so that's Jaff tip of today bit of an impromptu video because i haven't uploaded in a while but it's just something i want to open people's minds to thank you very much for watching systems online as you wish okay launch musical industrial complex initiating